What is going on YouTube? My name is Brickman Six from Nine. Today, guys, I've got an app review for you all. Okay, guys, this is a Windows 8 app, and it is called Code Writer. Let's launch it and then bring it over here. Okay, guys, so this app is made for Windows 8. I'm running Windows 8.1, which of course is fine. This is my first time opening the app. Uh, this is a free app that you can get in the Windows 8 App Store. You can create new documents. Um, you can open text doc or not text code documents, and you can use the Settings Charm or Windows Plus I to view help or change the themes, editor options, and um, the file types you can open. So basically, this is like a uh, more friendly version of. Uh, Notepad++ in the sense that it's specifically designed for Windows 8. Um, like I said, I'm running Windows 8.1, but there's not much of a difference. So as you can see, we can create all of these new code types, but we also have a simple text document that we can create. So, you know, like I said, it's like a Notepad++. Um, specifically designed for you know the Windows 8, um, the Windows 8 uh, interface. So we can, you know, see all these things over here. Um, we can go file types. Um, so let's say uh, you specifically do not want it to show the uh, Lua file type. You can go in here and you can, um, let's say, you know, there's an updated extension for it. You can edit that extension. Um, there's already predefined ones, but you can also add another one. You can also completely disable that file type. Um, and then you can also go into uh, some different editor things. So <coughs> let's say you want a light theme. Uh, there's also an obsidian theme, which I actually like that. Um, you can change the font, you can change the font size. I'm using a bigger monitor, so I'll make the font size bigger. Um, and it also shows the font size over here. Um, current line highlighting, uh, no, it's just some different settings. Um, we also have uh, just some general stuff, so like the background theme um, only applies to the add document screen. Um, So let's say I want to go back, uh, you right click on this bar over here, we can see our current document, we can rename it, uh, we can move it around if we had other ones, um, we can also delete it, um, or close it. Um, so then there's four more things over here. So we can also open up a document. So. Let's say I want I don't know, I can't find one. You can also create HTML documents. And the nice thing is, as you see, when I created that, it automatically sort of formats this all for us. So everything right here has already been formatted. So the HTML tags that are essential, the header tags, and the body tags are essential. It also adds the title, um, and then it uh, creates uh, a few lines we can write our own code in. Um, we can also go to advanced, uh, so if we want to like add some add comments, remove, you know, stuff like that. You can find things, you can view the properties of this document. Um, so let's say it's HTML, but we want to change it to a JavaScript file. Um, you can see how many lines, how many words, and how many characters there is. Um, nice thing is, this is all color-coded, so uh, each code or text document has a different color. So like Ruby is Ruby Red, HTML is the HTML5 Orange. Um, and you can also, I believe, add your own uh, 
file types. So let's say I want to add HTML5 in. Uh, no, you can't. But we can go down to HTML, and um, you see there's different uh, HTML file types that are already added. So, guys, this is a very nice uh, program. I recommend you get it if you, um, you, you know, you like editing. Uh, code in Notepad++, but you have a Windows 8 computer, and you just want a more friendly, you know, sort of interface. Uh, when I say friendly, I mean, like, specifically designed for uh, Windows 8.1 or 8. Um, so that's where we can change that one background. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, just, uh, you know, just let me know down in the comment section below. Um, like I said, this is a free app on the App Store uh, for Windows 8. Just search Code Writer. My name is Freeman Six Wing Guy Nine Guys. I thank you all for watching, and I bid you all a farewell. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope hey guys, it's Brickman Six One Nine. Thanks for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And to help on the channel and to receive more videos like this one please click the subscribe button that lies down below. You can also find it on my channel. Thanks guys and have a great day.